All right, this is Heather. So, coming from a competitive swimming background, you have most of the most of the technical stuff pretty good. Uh, what you can see here from above water is that your extension could be a little better. It could be uh, could be because you hadn't swam for a couple weeks, but when you reach forward there. You want to really extend fully, as fully as possible, almost hyperextend the lats. So if I was to pause this, which you can do, you'll see that there's a little bit of space in between your shoulder and your head at the sort of uh, apex of your extension. So you want to close, close that gap. You want to uh, extend as far as possible with each stroke. It, it may throw your timing off slightly. It may cause a slight delay, but I think you have the body type that would be good for that and that the long extension will enable you to have a, a fuller, uh, more powerful uh, grab with each stroke. So that's a, a minute of talking about a real minor issue. Body position is good. Um, we'll comment on the underwater stuff when we get to it. Breathing is fine, head position is fine. Okay, so here you can see the extension and by extension the rotation or lack thereof. So when you reach forward, you want your body to really go on its side. Um, I, I like to think that that is a result of extending well. So that's how I would, I would recommend viewing it. So doing the rotation drill where you kick on your side might not be a bad idea for you. Just to, just to work on the extension part of it, not so much the rotation. The whole purpose of all that is to become streamlined in the water. So looking at your right arm, that's a bit, it's a combo between a beginning of a catch and then sort of a straight pull down and then the elbow leading the stroke back. All right, left arm, that's pretty much what I call a straight arm pull in the sense that you're pulling straight down and then straight back. The right arm again. So you can see how that the forearm and hand, when that elbow starts pulling back, the forearm and the hand haven't really gone completely uh, vertical or perpendicular to the bottom of the pull. And I'm, there's some freeze frames at the end of this. So that's if the elbow leads back before the hand and forearm are vertical, then you're giving up some of the traction or some of the grab you would get with your hand and forearm. There's a one arm drill. <coughs> so you can see here even looking from above water how that hand and forearm uh, you can still see the top of them while you're pulling back if you can still see the top of them while you're pulling back then that means they're not going vertical or perpendicular to the bottom of the pool meaning the surface area is not at the proper angle or at the yeah, optimal so angle for back. leveraging your body past that point all right catch up drill Catch-up drill is good to work on both extension, which you're doing right there. See that nice long extension? Like it's a, almost a hyper extension, it seems like. That's good. Still got a bit of space in between your shoulder and your head, so you want to close that space down. And then the secondary or other part of catch-up drill is really working on the high elbow catch, the early vertical forearm. So one arm underwater, make sure that you rotate forward so that you're not staying totally on your side the whole way. 
So you extend, rotate, pull, extend, rotate, or rotate, extend, pull, excuse me, so that you're reaching forward and that your body is turning to the side and then turning back to being flat relative to the bottom of the pool. That's where you can really work on the, the high elbow catch as well. So really try to get that form, keep the elbow up, get the hand and forearm to angle. And if you pause that, you'll see that your hand and your forearm are not really going vertical relative to the bottom of the pool there. I'm not sure if that's regular swimming or if we were trying to do a drill there, but that looks pretty good. Looks like you're extending forward pretty well. All right, and then this one is uh, doggy paddle. So the idea with doggy paddle is that you are really working on the, the catch portion, the, that first bit, um, that first third of the stroke. And this drill can seem a little awkward and funny, but it really is a, a good strength building drill as well as technique. This one is the six kick on your side. So this is where you're working on rotation. The idea here, be comfortable on your side so that at the, at the very apex of the extension, you're really reaching forward as far as possible. When you do this drill, you're not really worried about the pull itself, the catch and pull. You're more focused on nice long extension with that arm that's under your body and then rotating well side to side all right so the next ones are freeze frames of the underwater the first one is your left arm okay so that's just after the entry and then the pull starts notice the straight arm relative from the side uh, arm is still straight so you want that elbow at that point to have been popping up. So that's what I call just a straight arm pull. This is your right arm. And then you getting a little bit of the catch angle there. Uh, the, the hand and forearm angling down somewhat. But the elbow is starting to lead the stroke. So you want that hand and forearm to be going vertical early. That's it.